So I'm out here in upstate New York for the next couple of days and pretty much I'm going to be here for like three days just getting work done, getting content done. My plan is to make like 10 videos in like the next two days. Uh, I'm in the gym that they have. It's a pretty cool gym. Uh, just worked out, just did my thing and went on my morning run too. The trails here are beautiful. Um, but besides the fact, today's video topic is going to be how you can cope with heartbreak. So for those of you that are just tuning into my channel, um, I'm also going through that right now. So all my boys out there that clicked on this video, this video is perfect for you. Uh, this video is listenable too, so you can put it in the background, just kind of, you know, vibe out, clean your room, get some homework done while you listen to this and just kind of, you know, see see what i'm going what i'm doing to kind of cope with it but i'm definitely doing a lot of positive things you know i'm out here in upstate new york where there's nothing around just getting work done just kind of vibing out getting hard work done uh been in this gym already like four times in two days uh so definitely grind definitely going hard this is like my fourth video i'm recording so yeah i mean you know being productive but first things first immediately you want to learn that it's not your fault so Something that happened to me when I first went through the breakup was I started thinking of every possible thing that went wrong and every possible thing I could have done better. You know, sometimes the cliche thing is not you, it's me is actually true. You know, sometimes you are not the problem. You were never the problem. Uh, so just kind of first things first, just registering that you are not the problem. It is not your fault. That is going to be the most vital and most important thing to kind of get into your mind right away. You know, you did everything you could. It ended how it ended. Uh, one thing you definitely don't want to do is regret anything. You know, you had an amazing experience with this person, I'm assuming. Uh, you loved this person. You probably still do. And there's nothing to regret there. You know, you got this amazing experience. You experienced one of one memories with this person. And now you have those memories to, to you know, look to and have reminiscence of for the rest of your life you know you had a lot of fun you had a lot of great memories with this person there's nothing to regret there you know what i mean i did regret a lot i was like i should have never met this person i would have never felt like this but you know after a couple of weeks i realized you know i had a great time i wouldn't have been with this person if i wasn't having a good time so definitely just registering that you shouldn't regret anything that happened during the relationship Obviously, unless you messed up, unless you did something dumb, but definitely don't worry about it, you know? Uh, take those memories and cherish them. Cherish them whenever you think about them and just kind of appreciate that they happened in the first place. I'm going to go over kind of how I coped. Kind of going back to the beginning of the video, I filled my schedule. And this is a negative thing, but it's the most positive negative thing you could do. I completely filled up my schedule with productive things. So I go on these, this is like my fifth or fourth trip this year so far. And it's only, what, it's March? Yeah, it's March. It's like my fifth trip. Um, what I do is I get BNBs and I literally just grind my personal business projects just the whole day. I exercise all day, I eat good. I literally just travel and explore. And that's pretty much what I've been doing to cope. Um, filling my day with productive things. So now I have a schedule, I have a calendar. I write everything down the night before from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. And that's kind of how I build my days. That is one of the best ways that you can cope with the heartbreak because now you are bettering yourself for yourself. You should be doing this for yourself, by the way, not for the person. But now you're focused on bettering yourself and you're gonna come out a better man in the end. This isn't to say that you shouldn't think about it, you know, because if you avoid thinking about it, it's going to bottle up and you're going to end up just completely exploding in motion. And you might do something you might regret. So definitely don't avoid thinking about it. Um, you know, during these trips, I'll ha I have time to think about it and just kind of uh, digest what's happening. Um, and, you know, crying, letting it out, that's extremely important too. Just learning to feel everything that you feel is very important like don't just throw the feeling away don't just say hey this isn't happening or 
just ignoring the feeling because if you ignore the feeling constantly, eventually it's going to catch up to you and you're going to freak out. You're going to have a complete meltdown and you might even end up doing stuff that you regret, like I said. So feel everything that you are feeling right now, feel it to the fullest, cry it out, be by yourself and just kind of feel everything that you need to feel. That's pretty much what I'm saying, but also that's, that's what I'm doing as well. So I'll have moments where you know, it catches up to me and then I'll feel it out completely and then I'll feel better at the end, you know? So crying is, is not a feminine thing. You can you can definitely do it. Obviously, I do it on my own time and nobody finna catch me crying. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'll do uh, to cope with that. Uh, this was a super big eye opener too. I was taking action before, but this heartbreak really made me take action. So from the moment of, I, I wake up with intention now, I wake up with a purpose to be better, to be a new man, and I'm very intentional with my days now. So this was scheduled on my calendar to get these videos done, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting these videos done. So just kind of waking up with that intention to conquer the day each day, not thinking about tomorrow, just thinking about the day of, that's something that I've also been doing a lot. So. Take a lot of action. Just start to execute. Start to do stuff even if you don't know how to do it because once you start to take action and execute, you're going to really start to see a lot of results. But yeah, anybody out there that's going through a heartbreak, time, ultimately, out of everything I said, time will heal. Time will make things better. Feel everything you need to feel. Start to focus on yourself, your mind, your body, and you will be better. Trust me, I thought the world ended. Um, but the world's not ending. You know, the world is beautiful. It's great. Um, and you have a chance to experience it. So definitely do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.